Hey, what's up guys? I'm the Frozen Ferret, and today we're going to be talking about something that a lot of people in the beginning stages of Escape from Tarkov struggle with, and that is Gear Fear. Pretty much what Gear Fear is, is when you enter a raid with a high value set of items, and you're what the title says, you're afraid to lose it. And what this does is, for most people, is that I believe it alters your gameplay. You're not in the zone when you're considering, well, I just spent three hours, you know, with my scav runs and kitting out this really sick M4, I got the Vulcan helmet with the face shield and everything, and you finally go to enter the raid, and your entire state of mind changes, and instead of trying to frag out, get loot, you're more concerned about just surviving. And I've been reading on Reddit recently about how a lot of different people get over this gear fear that they have. Some people say you take 50 TT pistols in the factory and just get used to dying. And while that might be a long-term effective method, I don't think it is the most efficient way to do things. You'll notice a lot of the time in videos or clips that people have when they finally get that really sick Mosin kill that they've been going after, that they immediately run to the body, loot it up, and they're panicking, where they're dragging things over rather than left control clicking, or they're dropping things from their inventory, they're not really efficient, and there's that state of panic that you see them have. And I think the best way to get over that is to just play more. When you finally get the understanding of how to move tactically and how to cover your corners and play in a realistic setting. A lot of people that I know, they play this game as if it was their, that character was them. And that is a really good way to play. It makes you be more conscious of, maybe I shouldn't go run and loot that body, or when I do, I should have a little bit less panic, get what I need and get out quickly. Another method that I see people have is that they play with somebody that has played before, or they start the game fresh with somebody that hasn't, and they have someone with them, like a team. When you know that someone's covering an additional angle, you have somebody that you trust, there is a lot more straightforward movement in the game. Whereas, when you're breaching a building, let's say you're breaching third floor dorms trying to get to Mark Drew on Customs. You're going in, you're the only one, there's going to be a lot more stress rather than if you and your teammate peek both sides at the same time, you have someone that you can rely on. Initially what I did to get over my gear fear was I just learned one specific map and practiced that map over and over and over. Even if it meant that I had no money and I had to wait for my next scav run, I'd load up my PMC with a hatchet and run around and just learn the map. And the more comfortable you are in the situation, the more confidence you have, really will help you more get over your gear fear. The last tip I have for you guys is something that I think is overlooked a lot, and that it is just a video game. Escape from Tarkov is just a video game. There's a thousand different ways to play it, whether you want to be a market manipulator, the Chad Gamer with the three lasers on his SMG, or you just want to be a rat and go in and loot things. Once you figure out your play style and you're comfortable with the game, Gear Fair will go away much quicker than you guys think. Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.